What's up guys? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado and today I wanted to make a really special video um, making my very first batch of medicinal mushroom tinctures. So we've got these beautiful reishi mushrooms. Um, th this one was grown by Zach from Mushroom Cult. Um, gorgeous reishi. So we're going to be extracting the ganodermic acids out of the reishi mushroom. Then we've got some gorgeous lion's mane that I grew. And um, it has some hericinones in it, which are beneficial compounds. And then we've got some cordyceps militaris that I grew. Some fresh cordyceps. So you can see... Um, all these beautiful fresh mushrooms and I'm going to do a dual extraction so one half of the extraction I'm going to take fresh mushrooms and infuse them with this grain alcohol here so it's 190 proof from local here uh, Mystic Mountain Distillery in Colorado Larkspur Colorado um, it's specifically made for tinctures, so I'm really excited to test out this product here and make some tinctures. Um, so you can see I've got this glass vial, which I'm just going to start off by filling it with this alcohol. So the idea of a dual extraction is to capture both the polar and the non-polar compounds by um, extracting some of the mushrooms in alcohol and then the remainder using water. Um, some people do this by using the same mushrooms for both processes. I am going to um, do separate extractions and then combine them. So you can see grain alcohol, very pure, and this is going to extract the hericinones and the ganodermic acids and then our target compound for cordyceps is cordycepin so there's about 1.75 liters of 190 proof grain alcohol it's the 420 extractor, so specifically designed for tinctures. And there is some debate on whether or not um, the mycelium or the fruiting bodies hold more medicinal compounds. So I'm just going to dump this whole entire cake of cordyceps into the solution here. So you can see it's floating around and then I'm also going to just harvest some of this fresh lion's mane and I guess I can break it up a little bit so I would say that's about six to eight ounces of fresh lion's mane and then I'm going to take this gorgeous reishi mushroom Ganoderma lucidum and then I'm just going to put this right into the alcohol extract. And you can see that it's already starting to turn orange from um, the cordyceps. I'll try to get a nice close-up of what's going on here. All right, so then I have the remainder of this bottle that um, I'm just gonna top off the rest of this tincture here. So they come with this nice little tab and you can see that it's already starting to turn orange. And I'm just gonna submerge the rest. Wow. And look 
get all that mushroom goodness that is coming out in that extraction. So you can see the cordyceps floating around in there. And that's actually a bird seed that I grew it on. So now that we have half of our extraction complete, I'm just going to let this sit in the fridge for about a week to 10 days to really give all of those compounds a chance to um, be infused with the alcohol. And then on this other side here, I've got um, a pot of water that I'm just gonna fill up and kind of break apart the same amount of mushrooms. So you've got another cake of cordyceps here. And then I'm just gonna harvest this reishi right off the block. And you can see that is going to be used for the water extraction. And then I'm going to recombine these in a larger vessel after the extractions are complete. So I'm gonna challenge you guys out there. If anyone knows, um, uh, analytical chemistry lab that can have these compounds analyzed. Um, I'm specifically interested in the cordycepin, um, the hericinones, and then the ganodermic acids from the reishi mushroom. So comment below if you know any labs near Denver or any labs that would take samples so that I can have some results on um, our extraction. So if you guys have any tips on how to improve this process, comment below. Um, we're going to be coming out with some new breeding projects over the winter, so stay tuned on that. And hopefully, if this goes well, we should have our own um, tinctures into the market soon. We're going to have to do some rigorous testing. I really want to dial this in. Um, but you can see the, the orange from the cordycepin is already leaking into this. Um, beautiful extraction. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these and until next time, much love.